Hi guys, I'm Natasha Tessier with Dwell Realty and Design. Welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. I would love to tell you anything and everything there is to know about the city of Houston. Today, I'm going to talk about new construction homes in Montgomery, Texas. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Today, I have four different communities that I'm gonna talk about. All new construction, all different price ranges. So the first one is actually the neighborhood that I live in. I love it. It's called Wood Forest. It is a huge master plan community. Of the four communities, this is the only master plan one. And what I mean by master plan is it has a kid's pool, an adult pool, it has walking trails, it has a dog park, it has a splash pad, it has a skateboard park, and then in golf cart distance to our community, we have shops and restaurants. So you have Harvest Market, which is our newer grocery store. You have a sushi bar. You have a new bourbon bar coming in, two different coffee shops. You also have crust pizza on the corner there. Tons and tons to do, and there's they're breaking ground every single day. There's just a lot of different things coming in. So that being said, this is kind of the one master plan community and there is still new construction in the back. However, there's only one section of new construction zone to Montgomery ISD. So it's a little bit confusing because the neighborhood, there's 9,700 people according to the sign and the neighborhood is split into two different school districts. So part of the neighborhood is zoned to Montgomery ISD and part of the neighborhood's zoned to Conroe ISD. You can look for yourself at the school ratings on the HAR app, like I always say, tons of ratings on there, scroll down to the very bottom and it'll tell you the ratings of those schools. So in the very back, they are still building in the Conroe ISD section. I've put three under contract in the past few weeks. There's Highland um, and Perry and a few other builders back there that are great. And I would say the lowest in there is probably gonna be about 350 and going up from there depending on the different selections that you choose and do you have a lot premium and all that. I used to do design for a living. I used to, I was published in Southern Living. So if you do build, I do walk my clients for no charge through all the building process and help them pick out tile and carpet and all that stuff. So that's at the back. The only section that is zoned to Montgomery ISD is very small. It's just one little loop. It's by Taylor Morrison. It'll probably be done, I would say within six months. Um, that's another section that will be zoned to Mon the Montgomery side. So you wanna be cautious if that's a big deal to you. All the schools are rated really good, in my opinion, A's and B's, but some are definitely rated uh, better than others, especially at the high school level. So look into that. There is a lot of people ask if you can go to different schools. It kind of depends. If the school chooses to have an open enrollment, then you can open enroll and drive your kids there. They won't go on the bus, but if they don't choose to have an open enrollment that year because of numbers or whatever, then you have to go to the school that you're zoned to. However, I have heard once you open enroll, they can't kick you out of that. So I'm not 100% on that. Um, my kids go to the school that we're zoned to. I have heard though a lot of people live in the other section and then drive over. So just keep that in mind when you're looking. So the price range, for Wood Forest, like I said, 300. It's probably closer to 350 now is kind of your base price. It goes up to over a million. There are a ton of different sections for every lifestyle. There's also even a retirement community called Bonterra, and that is an older community, and they have all sorts of activities and things going every single day. So a lot of people, like their grandparents will live in there, or even their parents will live in there while they live in the other section. I have several families that the kids live in one section and the parents or grandparents live in the other section. So that's super fun. Lots of different communities. They have a lot of different, like a 4th of July parade. Right now they have a tour of lights, the 12 days of Christmas through the neighborhood. It's really, really cool. So there's just a lot of different things going on. It's a huge community. If you have kids and um, they want friends, then there's tons of kids in the street and riding their bikes. And there's, oh, there's also basketball hoops in the back and soccer fields. So my kids go out there and meet their buddies and play basketball and stuff. So that is Wood Forest. Okay, number two I'm gonna go to is Fairwater. This is a relatively new community. Their prices are going up. Castle Rock and DR Horton are the builders. 
and they start at 325, kind of go into the 450s. It is right there off of 2854, so it's literally almost right across from the high school. And it doesn't have, it has a little rec center. There's like a splash pad and playground, but not a neighborhood pool. They have a pickleball court and a pavilion and a fire pit. And it's very hilly out in that area. So it's very, very pretty. Just not as big of a master plan community. Oh, I forgot to mention the tax rate in Wood Forest mostly is 2.8. It might be a little bit, it might be 2.9 in, in the back section. And then in Fairwater, it's 3.2. So not that big of a tax difference. Fairwater is like your 1,800 to 3,000 square foot houses. In Wood Forest, oh my gosh, you could go small, like 17, 1,800, that's small in Texas, up to, I mean, over 5,000. There's huge homes in here. So it's kind of big span. Okay, so that's number two is Fairwater. Number three, is the Hills of Town Creek. This is by Stylecraft Builders. Great little neighborhood. Okay, so there's two different high schools in Montgomery ISD. One is Montgomery High School is the original and one is Lake Creek. Lake Creek High School is right off of 2854, like I said, right across from Fairwater. Montgomery High School is over just past downtown Montgomery, opposite 105 from the Hills of Town Creek. It's kind of on the back side of the football stadium, which is kind of cool. You can see the stadium from some of those houses. This is a little more affordable community. It's 244 to 350. And this is on their website. It might be closer to 275 now up to 375, but somewhere in that ballpark. And range is 1300 to 2600. Not as many amenities and stuff, but an affordable way to get into Montgomery schools. And you can look up the elementary school and junior high and high school there versus the other side. They're all, like I said, mostly A's and B's. There's, you know, just go onto the HAR app and look that up. Okay, so Wood Forest, Fairwater, Hills of Town Creek. Okay, so the last community that I'm going to mention, it's called Pine Lake Cove. And that is right off 105. It is also zoned to the new Lake Creek High School, to Oak Hills Junior High and Keenan Elementary. This is a brand new community. They don't even have, they have the model homes up. This is by Meritage Builders. And they have the models homes up, but they don't have, I think their first one, I talked to the guy today, is gonna be done in March. They already have 30 homes sold in there, which is totally crazy, but, those schools, Keenan Elementary, Oak Hills, and Lake Creek are all A plus rated, and so people are moving there for the schools. I don't, I don't remember seeing any sort of amenities going in. However, I thought that he said they were gonna have like access to the lake or like a boat ramp, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm still, this is like a brand new community, so I'm still figuring it out, but it's selling like hotcakes. It starts in the 1700s and goes up to 2,800 square feet just the one builder right now, Meritage, and um, it starts in the 300,000s. So that should be super helpful. Those are four new construction communities that you can still build in. A lot of my people are thinking of coming here in um, April, May when school ends. And I, I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I have a feeling like last year we were in a lot of bidding wars. People were paying 30 and 50 and even more over asking. And so a lot of my clients that know they'll be here in May, that's why I put so many new construction under contract because they can just put usually like 5,000 down and then they can kind of watch the build happen and they don't have to worry about price increases or anything like that. It's it, in most of these communities. I know that the three that I did with Highlands are set no matter what the, you know, lumber costs go up to or shortages or whatever. So um, you do kind of have to be prepared that they don't have a set date for you to move in because of the supply chain issues, but at least you have a house already and you're not gonna be competing in bidding wars. So anyway, if I can ever help as usual, um, you know how to find me if you watch my channel by now. Uh, Houston Realtor Natasha on Instagram and TikTok and Natasha Tessier at Gmail is my email or just my name, Natasha Tessier on Facebook. Call me, text me, whatever I can do to help. I'm always here to help you guys. Reach out anytime and I hope you have a blessed day.